Hey everybody, that is the song we're gonna learn today on Guitar Pass. That is Melissa by the Allman Brothers. Um, this was on Eat a Peach, which came out in 1972. It was a tribute to Dwayne Allman, who died in a motorcycle accident in 1971. That was really awful. Imagine what he'd be doing today. He was awesome. So he, this was actually his, uh, you know, you can read the Wikipedia on all this. There's actually a lot of cool information on this song, but they had early versions of it, but never they sold the rights away and never really played it a lot, but Dwayne always loved this song and said it was uh, his favorite song that Greg, his brother Greg, wrote. And, um, and then when he died, uh, Greg played it at his funeral, and then they decided to record it, and Dickie Becks actually played all the uh, lead guitar on it, and uh, it's great. It's a killer one that hangs on chords where you can do a lot of soloing. So we're actually going to learn the song and a lot of neat open acoustic ringy chords on it. Um, it's a real fun one just to strum, but it's actually a great one to kind of solo on too. So we're going to go through the song. We're going to do an instrumental arrangement that pretty much matches the arrangement of the recorded version. Uh, we're going to do a little intro, two verses, a little chorus, bridge thing, and then uh, another verse, and then our outro. Uh, and I'm gonna play that at the end of this course so you can practice along with the rhythm, but also it's gonna work as a backing track to do soloing over. And we're gonna cover a few different solo ideas uh, that you can jam along with it. And as you learn more solo ideas uh, beyond this course, um, you know, with our, my, uh, the Guitar Pass uh, Solo Basics courses and the major pentatonic um, works really well with this song. And as you learn Mixolydian modes that we'll get into on other courses, uh, you can apply this and uh, use this as a backing track and jam along with it. It's a great one to kind of open up and work on your soloing. And a fun one just to strum acoustic guitar on. So uh, I hope you enjoy and uh, have a lot of fun. Hey, real quick, before this lesson, just want to let you know about a 14-day free trial on GuitarPass.com. A lot of cool, fun guitar lesson content on there. Check out the description below. All right, enjoy the lesson. All right, we're gonna begin with the E sequence. This is kind of the main theme of the song. We get this down, the moves and the strumming, we're almost there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with E, and I'll just show you the moves and then we'll talk about the strumming and all that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, keep your first finger down and bring it over here to the second fret and have your third finger right here on the fifth string and then that guy right there on the fourth string. It's kind of an open version of a F sharp minor chord, but it's a lot more nice acoustic ringy sounding, right? So E to F sharp minor, we're gonna call it. And we're gonna take this shape and bring it over two frets, which is a whole step. So your first finger is on the fourth fret. That's a G sharp minor uh, airy version that we're gonna call it. So we have E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, and back to F sharp minor. That is the sequence that we intro the song with. It's also a big part of the verse. In the outro, we're just going to strum that four times. Um, so this is, a, I figured it'd be a good thing to start on this and it'll pretty much acclimate us to learn the rest of the song. But let's add some strumming to that. Uh, you know, this is what we're going to choose. It works really well. If you decide to do something, your own version of whatever, do it. See what works. But I like doing down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's a lot. So I'm going to just do a few in a row just with E. And again. Now let's do the next move. We're going to do it for each chord, so let's go to the next one. And do it again, the whole sequence. So get that down really well and the rest of the song should be pretty easy. All right, so let's do this verse. We are gonna start the verse with that 
E sequence, but we're gonna add a little thing to it. So here we go, we have. Just like the intro. And we're gonna start it again, but we're just gonna do E and F sharp minor. And that's it. We're gonna do the E sequence with the another E, start it again, but just do half of it, E to F sharp minor. And then we're gonna go right to an A chord. I'm just gonna show you the chords and we'll do the strumming. It's a little bit different strumming. I like doing, you can do A, a any way you want. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna bar it. And I'm mainly hitting five, four, three, and of course two. I'm gonna kinda of leave that one out. I got A. And then I'm going to do abbreviation again of B minor. I'm not going to do the B minor bar chord. You can if you want, but I like that open airy sound for this song. So I'm going to actually, it's like a A minor shape right here, right? Our first finger is on the second string, uh, third fret, right there on the third, or excuse me, the fourth, and then the third right there. You can look at your chart. That is B minor. So. Never really paid attention to what I strum there. <laughs> Probably a uh, four, three, two, one is what we should be strumming on this. Actually, you can add that E, or excuse me, the fifth string A, because it's we're, this is a big A sequence. Basically, what we're doing, just like E and A, we're kind of doing chord versions of the major scale. We'll talk about that later. Um, so having this A during this whole A sequence. Uh, will work just like E worked with the E sequence. So okay, getting off top of here. B minor, and then we're gonna take this shape again, bring it over two frets or a whole step. So my first finger's on the fifth fret. That is C sharp minor. And then again, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go to D. And so I'm gonna keep these, it's my second and third finger down, I'm gonna bring them over to the seventh fret I'm going to add my pinky on the second string. And that is kind of like a little triad. I'm going to, I can keep that E, open E there though, and ring it. Because we're having all these ringy things. Key of E, you can do that kind of stuff. So I have A, B minor, C sharp minor, and then D. Right, sounds a little nice and ringy then. You can do that, but this sounds better. So the strumming on that, let's do down, 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 up for each chord. Down, down, down. Right? And then we're back to the E sequence with the same strum. Down, 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 up, down. Down, down. But here we're going to do an A chord, and again, I'm not going to do the bar chord, I'm going to do an abbreviation. I'm going to keep these two down, bring them over to the seventh fret, and put my third finger on the third string, and that will be the sixth fret. That's like this, it's kind of like the E shape bar chord of A, but without the bar, which is awesome because bars are a pain in the butt. So. I'm going to just do that so we have down, up, down. Right? And then we go to a C major 7. It's kind of like C but without this. But I like using these fingers. And we're going to strum five, five strings all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice little, and we're going to do our, back to our down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then to a B, I'm going to do the bar chord. You can also do a power chord, or you can do this, but I'm going to do the bar chord. And you do one strum and let it ring out. So that was a lot right there. I'm going to play... Oh, real quick, and then to finish the verse section, we are going to go back to the E sequence, like normal. Right, so let me just play that, the whole verse right now. We just did 
the intro one time, and now I'm going to go right into the verse. Here we go. A sequence. And work on your mmms. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. And then you go into the next verse. So that whole section was a verse. We kind of end it with the E sequence uh, one time, just like we do with the intro. Uh, so that's the whole verse. And in the arrangement, we're going to do that back to back. You're going to go right into the next verse. So really get that down. That's a big part of the song, right? And uh, work on that. Mm -hmm, yeah. So uh, enjoy. All right. So we're going to do the chorus part, I'm going to call it. You may call it the bridge or something. We're just going to call it the chorus. Let's agree on that. So here we go. Uh, you know, I'm going to do the chords here. Uh, you know, this is the part where he's like, and the morning comes. And then D. A. B. Oh, no, 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 no. C sharp minor, we are going to do the bar chord now. A, bar chord. B, bar chord. And then do a seventh, which you can do either that, just lift in the pinky, or you can add a little spice by doing, adding that on the second string. Those are both B7. So do whatever you want there. So uh, let me just do the strumming. We're going to do this uh, kind of chug-a-lug kind of thing. And uh, it's going to be like a down, down, up. Like, I'm going to just do E really quick. Down. Uh. When the morning comes. So it's down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up for each chord. So down. D. A, B, C sharp minor, A, B, one strum of B7. And then back to the, we're going to go right into another verse. There's actually a little lick in there that we can do that we'll talk about when we're doing some solo ideas. But uh, that is it. So I'm just going to go. When the morning comes, when the morning runs, I don't remember the words. There's something about a gypsy. like that and then you're back to another verse so uh, that's kind of the little chorus part thing there pretty cool um, now uh, yeah next we'll talk about some solo ideas and uh, we'll do the main arrangement okay I want to talk a little bit about uh, solo ideas we're gonna do a couple videos on a few different ways of doing this this song is a really cool song and it kind of hangs in the key centers a lot so you can kind of really solo it up. Uh, Dickie Betts really goes off on his solos throughout the whole song. He's adding fills and whatnot. And at the end there's a, a kind of like the intro, it goes four times so you can really try it out. And when we do the full arrangement it's going to act as like a backing track for solos. So anyway, um, let's look at a couple ideas. The Maybe a home base, a, a good place to start, which I've done in my solo videos before that you, you probably will be familiar with, but uh, you know it's um, 
kind of out of this little shape here, my first, you know, this E, but my first finger is right here. I use it as a reference. This is on the ninth fret. Um, and what I'm going to do is, you know, it's just this, um, we're doing major pentatonic, by the way, E major pentatonic. So I'm just going to do the pattern here. You'll see. This is E. That's E. That's E. So that is wonderful. I love, in this song, adding the A note, which is uh, the suspended fourth, which kind of implies a bit of a mixolydian uh, approach. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, really is nice, right? You can kind of hear it. So you can do a lot of little nooks and crannies. You know, even this, adding this is kind of cool. Right? You do all these little wonderful, beautiful little things on this song. Now, the full thing here is... Hello. I'm going to get your second finger here. And we've done that little shoots and ladder thing where boom, right? The big super, if you haven't done this, if you have done this, you're familiar with this. Remember you can bend, hammer-ons. Look at my solo basic courses and major pentatonic courses to get everything up and down the fretboard and to get some ideas on how to handle this. But right there, this is a great... So that's a great way of... Hello. Going back and forth is a little tricky, but... but you can see I can kind of practice alone like that, or get... Record yourself on your iPad or phone and then rhythm and play along or we're gonna have a we are gonna do a the backing track here So anyway, that's a fun one to just kind of mess around I'm just showing you these patterns and some ideas and kind of maybe how you how you get the sounds uh, That's a huge one. That's a good home base pattern. We're gonna revisit that later um, On to the next one So we're gonna now do another pattern. Uh, there's so much soloing that you can do in this song. So we're gonna go a little heavy on some of the solo ideas. Uh, it's gonna be a great one to practice a lot of stuff. It's still gonna be an E major pentatonic. We are gonna do uh, more of a, call it the open E extended pattern. Uh, we've kind of explored this in some other lessons here too, but uh, so it might be familiar, but if not, here we go. Slide it, or you can just bring it over. And there's E. Let me uh, do the E's again. E. Sometimes I'll do this. Slide this. E is right there as well. E. And uh, and you can come back. Now, when I'm here, sometimes I'll get, I'll move my hand in so I can get that thing going again. Right, you can start hearing that. Now right here, you know, uh, we'll do a sus4 here. That's an A right there. So if I'm going. Right. Sneak that little guy in when you want. All right, hello. So this is a great one, yeah. get the idea there. So that's a good one to kind of start messing around with as well. 
Okay, so naturally you can also, you know, another solo idea is just to combine these things. And... Great practice to kind of to move around like that, right? You can do all these E things throughout the whole song. Um, one thing to do, uh, you know, this is, uh, I mentioned earlier, this is a harmonized uh, major scale. It's a, uh, and when we go to the A sequence, it's the same thing. It's then it becomes an A major scale, which uh, is a pattern, if you'd go on a single string, is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. What I mean by that is, let's take this E note right here. You can find any E note, and this is, you know, this is very Allman Brothers-y. And you might have done this before. We talked about this too, but whole step is two frets. Half step is a half, is a one fret, right? So we got whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. You know, in this, so you can use any of those notes. I can do it here. So it's good to kind of practice those and get to know a few of them. I like this one for E, E, open E. And then from here, that's a whole step. Whole, half, whole, whole. Great way to get to kind of know some of the notes on your whole fretboard. So part of a, in this song, a cool thing to do is, you know, you can, again, you can just noodle throughout the whole song like this. But when it goes, uh, you know, but then you can, In fact, uh, let's look at A. Find an A note and do the same thing. How about right here? Whole, whole, half, whole, whole, whole and half, of course. I can do it here as well. Right? That kind of sounds like something in the song. Like if I was going, when you go to the A seek, so I'm going, doing, I'm noodling around on the E sequence. Crossroad. And then I go to the A. And go to E. And then it would go to the C and the B. We'll talk about that in a sec. Which you can just, with C and B, you can just do like a little lick in E major. And then here's a B note. Find a B note to land on if you want. Um, we'll talk about another approach with that in a sec, but that's a cool thing to do when when you hit the A sequence. Fine. E. Right. So uh, that's a cool one. So. I'll put a maybe a chart with the root notes, you know, all the E's and all the A's, and then try really getting to know that. And you can apply that to any song you ever do. Any of this you can apply to any song you ever do. But that's pretty cool because you can pick any root note and move around. That's a great way to kind of get to know the sound of what that major scale will sound like to that first note that you start on. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. All right, last solo kind of idea right now. And again, use anything major... Mixolydian, when we, uh, we'll have courses on that, and uh, when you know that, or if you know it, apply it. Um, we're kind of hinting at it a little bit. And this one we're gonna hint at it even a little more. What we're gonna do is, you know, we can solo all day long on E major throughout this whole song and be fine. And uh, we talked about we can throw in the little A, whole, whole, half thing when it's a, the A sequence. Uh, what about, it, what we can do is we can actually take that home base, what I want to do is just take this home base of, you know, the one we started with, of E, which is associated right here with this chord, this root note on the third string. So uh, I want to do that for every chord that we do. This is a great song to do that because you hang on the chords a lot. Uh, so we can do E, and you can always do E as a default, and then you can sneak into these a little bit or just boom, jump right in and do them for each chord sequence. So when you get to A, you can do the same pattern, you know, for this A.
Back to E. Right? So you can kind of do this A for that one. And then when you go to the, um, and back, you know, E for that one, the C, major seven, that would be here. So. And B is just right here. So C is here, B is just, a half step flat. And look at back to E. We're going to resolve to E. Right? So if I went, so I'm just going to do it like. You know, E, A. Or excuse me, B. So You know, kind of find ways to resolve. So a little idea there, and that's uh, moving to each chord, and that's when you do mixolydian stuff, that's kind of what you end up doing too, and we're kind of, you know, kind of adding that fourth to each key or each chord just to imply that a little bit. Again, you can do a ton of just E the whole song, but it, might be cool to sneak around and sneak those in. You know, you might do a, at the end you're doing a few rounds of the E sequence. Um, though I guess you'd just stay with E on that one. But um, you can kind of, uh, uh, or you're playing the song and you might do a few solo rounds over the verse. Uh, some different ideas. So, uh, and one quick thing too, uh, you know, here's E, and I'm with this pattern to bridge this pattern. Whole, whole, half. Oh, look, I'm right here. So you can use this to bridge the bridge both patterns that we talked about for E. So I know I kind of stretched out a little bit there and I'm gap babbling a little bit, but uh, I hope that gives you some ideas of messing around with this and having fun soloing around and just experiment. Uh, see what sounds cool. That's your little bag of trick or that's your little lick, you know. If, you know, maybe it's just that sequence for C to B. Experiment with that C to B thing. So uh, yeah, have fun. All right, hey, just now we're gonna talk about the ending. Uh, so basically at the last verse, uh, at the end of it, um, we're gonna kind of tag or double up that C major seven to B, right? Uh, if you listen to the song, you'll hear that. You know, uh, we'll just started at this point. The last verse, everything's normal, and then we get to this part. You just do that, and then you go back to this C major seven to B, two, three, four, and then you're gonna just do the outro, which is just like the intro in the main E sequence. Right? That was one time, and then you're gonna do it again. So, and you'll end it on that E. And so that outro, you're gonna do that E sequence four times in a row. They fade out in the song. I think I do it four times. I might have done five. I lost track. I said one more time. Uh, but uh, just do what feels right to you. If you're jamming with a buddy, and keep it going. And then when you're ready to end, end on that E. So that's how the ending of the song goes.
one more time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you did, hit the subscribe button. And also don't forget that 14-day free trial at guitarpass.com. Check out the description below and we'll see you in there, all right?